on Valentine's Day. If you want to get a jump start on Valentine's Day shopping, we've got you covered. Tomas Black is the man behind the new Green Gates Pottery and Leverett, and he's here to show us how we can make our own picture frames. Tomas, good, good to morning, see you guys. again. How's Welcome back, Tomas. Good Happy to see you. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, so today we're going to do picture frames. And they're really simple, really easy, just like the vase that we did a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And you can do this all with things that are found around your house. I made these stencils, and they're made out of Trisket boxes. So they All started right. life as a Trisket box, and now they're awesome picture frame stencils. <laughs> it's cool, repurposed. And, uh, very easy to make, right? And they are very easy to make. It doesn't involve a lot. You can use scissors to cut it out or an X-Acto knife. Uh, use a ruler, obviously, to get nice straight lines. All right. And the, basically the way it works is we roll out a slab of clay, mm -hmm. and then I use just some talcum powder. You can also use cornstarch. That works fine. And you just want to put it on the surface of the clay, and that's going to create sort of a release. And then what you're going to do is just put the stencil down on the slab, and mm -hmm. then you're just going to cut the outline out. All right. Now, you can get clay at any kind of model shop or, or art supply place? You can. And you can also just buy it online. If you just go online and uh, search oven bakeable clay on Google, you'll find tons and tons of things there. And it has all the information for baking and setting times, and then also workability. Because this is something that's also pretty cheap too, right? It's very cheap, yeah. I think to get the, the right kind of clay to do this sort of thing with, it's really inexpensive. It's about $20 for about 5 to 10 pounds of clay. Awesome. Oh, and to make each one of these slabs, I think it's, you know, it's maybe a pound and a half of clay to make a slab. So, you know, for that price, you can make yourself a lot of picture frames. Yeah. Now, Tomas, is there a certain kind of clay that you should search for online, like a specific kind? Just oven bakeable clay, oven because bakeable. most people don't have ceramic kilns at their home like I do. That's yeah, true. No, I so you want those. something that you can use in the oven, which makes life really easy. And then, you know, once you, like, Seth oh, no. here. <laughs> no, Seth, Seth here just ripped his poor That's picture okay. frame. We can, we it's can called mend it. character. Yeah, it's exactly. A lot of character now. Uh -oh. Yeah, so you can just cut it out, and then you take all your excess, throw it somewhere else. And then okay. there's all kinds of things that you can do to kind of add some personal appeal to it, put some writing on it. So there's tons and tons of little things, like little letter stamps. And then there's these really fun things. I got these at just a craft supply, but they're basically just little things that you can use to punch out birds or little flowers, stars, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna throw a butterfly on mine. If nice. this is indeed and a butterfly. I think that is a butterfly, most certainly. <laughs> the little hearts are great. So, what are you going to make for right? yours today? So, what I ended up doing is I'm just going to do a square one really fast. I also have two that I did last night so mm -hmm. that you guys will have some stuff to look at. And those are right over there? And they're right over there. And then I'm just going to quickly show you how to finish them off. Oh, nice. So, basically, it's really simple. You just cut it all out. Mm -hmm. And then once we get it cut out, then we just want to start adding our exterior details. And again, you can put badging on. So if you have a, a special loved one that you want to create as a memento, you can use the lettering to kind of squish in oh, there and definitely. write their name. Or on my picture frames, I think I did one called like love and family memories. Happy and the memories. other one is yeah. more specific for Valentine's Day kind of stuff where there's X's and O's on it. And there's, you know, future dreams and happy memories and love and all that kind of good stuff. And then. I added hummingbirds and little roses to kind of set it off so you have that lovebird kind of effect. Oh, that's smart. I love that you can really, with these little, um, with the letters, you can really personalize it. You can it. really personalize so it, yeah. Great. It's kind of, you know, it takes a little bit of time. I pre-laid mine out just mm -hmm. because, you know, I knew oh. it was going to be a little bit harder to kind of go at it. But, uh, you know, if you have the time, like everyone does at home, you can sit down and in an hour you can make a couple of these pretty easily. So once we finish getting the exact effect that we want and using all the cutouts and the lettering, what's the next step making this okay. ready to, to be gifted? So the next thing that you want to do, and I'm just going to change sides on you guys over yeah, here. Yeah, no problem. Is basically you just want, again, you could, you could use things like cereal boxes, but I prefer to use packing cardboard. It's a little bit stronger. And all you want to do is take your original stencil that you used, lay it onto a full sheet of cardboard, and then just cut the outline out. And then you can use just these little sort of twist grommets, little, oh, and you yeah. can pop holes, and what the grommets will allow you to do is put a backing on it, like that. Oh, smart. And then what you want to do is just use a drill bit and just drill through your actual piece, and then you can put the grommets through that and connect everything together. So it's really simple where you don't need anything crazy. You can find all this stuff at crafting supplies. And most people probably have it in their homes already. Yes. Especially if you have little kids. Little kids always construct with these things. They're like the world's best, easiest fastener. <laughs> so <laughs> it makes it simple. Have those yeah. yeah. And it's so, it is such a great thing that you can do with your kids because it makes them feel like when, the, when they're giving it to someone, it's extra special because they need it. Yeah, homemade products are the best yeah, products. Yeah, of course.
from the heart, right? I remember I gave, <laughs> I gave a, a little sign that said number one Pepe to my grandfather, and now I actually have it in my laundry room, because I, I gave it to him when I was a kid, and now I have it nice. as a keepsake. But something like that, that you exactly. never think is going to come back around that you'll cherish forever. So a picture frame like this is really special. And, what, you know, once it's baked in the oven, uh, it's basically going to be on Earth forever. So, you know, it's, mm -hmm. if it breaks, you can glue it back together, but generally speaking, it's going to last for a really long time. And then, you know, the finished products look pretty good. I didn't really have a good photo this morning, so I just grabbed one of myself in my studio. I think it's a great photo. <laughs> I love it. But this is kind of what you end up with the finished looking product. You have your backing on it, and mm -hmm. then you have your front, and everything's just connected with your little grommets. And then what I did to kind of add some color and detail to it is I just took standard acrylic paints. And I just took a brush and I painted it all, so now you can really add some sort of, you know, really, really color set off kind of things. And again, like with the Valentine's Day one, the red, flowers and the red hummingbirds really makes it pop really I nice. think they are even on just the raw color so great they're such a great gift that you can make with your kids or just if you want to do a project at home yeah Thanks yeah, so I much think I have my Valentine's Day oh all planned out <laughs> lots that. of exos on here hugs uh, and kisses so for nice, the wife Seth. get the Thank bonus you points for being here, <laughs> no problem so nice guys. to have you here